Our God is so special, right? He cares. I would like to invite the uh, Angolan family. I know that you sat down, but you, you have to come back. <laughs> I would like to invite um, Nanny with uh, Elliot and the family and friends. May come forward. I would like to invite the elders of the church as well and um, to come forward as we will uh, dedicate baby Elliot to our Lord Jesus. We're matching, huh? You got my, my email. <laughs> right? My elders are here. Thank you. You see this baby, how beautiful he is? How handsome he is? He's a good guy. I, th- I consider him my friend. And yesterday, he showed me his two cars. He drives. You don't believe me? I got pictures to prove it. (laughs) He's got a Lamborghini, a red Lamborghini. And he's got a white BMW. Amazing. What a privilege it is for me to be here today. Uh, I know that... uh, we almost don't do this because of the camp meeting, but somehow the conference allowed me to stay here for, for this day, and we're so thankful for that. I'll read to you from guidance, uh, child guidance, uh, some of uh, the insights the LNG White received from God in, with regards to how parents should build strong characters in their children. She said, devote best time and thought to it. The parents receive the child a helpless burden in their arms. He knows nothing, and he's, he's to be taught to love God and to be brought up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And that happens only when you come to God, when you are also dedicated to the Lord. The Bible in Proverbs 22, 6 reads, Start your children off on the way they should go. Now, how can you start your children on the way they go if they don't know how to do it? You have to show them. You have to, you have to give, be the, his example so that he will learn to love the Lord, that he will learn to, to really have a connection personally with God. And that will come on you. But you're going to be fair for a second. Nanny, you have the biggest responsibility. Because, yes, I, you agree with me, right? You agree with me, yes. Uh, because like Mary, she was able to teach Jesus about the Lord. It wasn't Joseph. Joseph was working. But Mary was the one. And, and he will be able to see you and watch you. He will be able to see Yando and see what he does and how Christianity will be read in you. But you have to show him the way. And the Bible says that when you show him the way, even when they are old, they will not turn from it. And that's what Jesus is saying. So when parents see the importance of the work in training their children, when they see that it involves eternal interest, this is an investment, then you will feel that they must devote their best time, best time and thought to this work. So I pray as you are just beginning your path uh, in your journey, that you'll be able to show Jesus to him. Now, for that to happen, you have to open your hearts to Jesus as well. So, therefore, as I will be dedicating uh, Elliot today, I will um, dedicate both of you, right? You're happy about that, yes. And you'll be more happy because I'm not grabbing you, but we have a pastor among us who is his uncle, uh, Pastor Christian Nengalan, who is a pastor in the East Allegheny Conference, he's here, or Allegheny East Conference, in New Jersey, near, nearby my hometown, New York, uh, and he's a pastor there, so he'll be able to grab, uh, I asked him to grab uh, his nephew as we kneel, and we will pray at this time. All right, shall we 
Neil? Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we kneel before your presence at this time, and certainly, even though millions of beings are worshiping you, you are stopping for a second and taking a look at what's happening here, O oh Lord, as we dedicate Elliot before you. What an honor to, to do this at, this at this moment, to dedicate him so that he will have an edge, a hedge around him that you may protect him, that he will grow healthy, that he will grow faithful to you, that he will be able to, to learn from his parents the love of Christ, and that he will be able to be a faithful Adventist that would advance the second coming of the Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, that he will be protected by you, that he will be blessed by you, that he will grow uh, in a special way, uh, uh, worshiping you and faithful to you, O oh Lord. But we dedicate Nanny and we dedicate Yando at this time, O oh Lord, his heart. They have to work. They have to do many things. O oh Lord, allow them to have and dedicate their best time that they have for the upbringing of Elliot, that they will, they will be able to uh, uplift him in their prayers to you as well. We bless our family, bless their family here, and uh, our children also sitting in our pews this morning, that you may bless them as well. And thank you for this privilege and honor of dedicating him to you, because we do so in the name of Jesus, and we pray, amen. 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 of our church, we would like to uh, give him the, his first, first Bible. It's a little heavy. Uh, first Bible, you have a certificate there, and there's another gift for him as well. So uh, may the Lord bless you, and congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, buddy. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, pastors. Thank you, everybody. Are we going to be praying for them? Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>